Hello and welcome, I'm Nefio42 and this is SketchUp Make, which is created by uh, Trimble, Navi uh, yeah, Trimble Navigation. Uh, I've got some tutorials from the Eagle Moss uh, book, uh, not book, uh, magazine collection called 3D Create and Print Magazine. Don't know if you've heard about it, I've got some other videos of me building the 3D printer that comes alongside it. Uh, if you'd like to check them videos out, then definitely the, the, uh, the links are on my normal page you should be able to find them if you click on my name below um so yeah this is all about the uh well it's a little bit of a tutorial a little bit of a let's play about with this program a little bit just see how it goes okay so i will be following one of the tutorials and a little bit of the next one uh and then i will i might might make it a, um something that i come back to maybe weekly or or bi-weekly or something like that uh, but it'd be cool to to do this because I do actually enjoy this. I just I've just been playing about with it just before just before now. Um, I've just been talking about with it. Um, yeah. So we have here we have Steve here. Uh, Steve is a Steve is a model that they put into the game to help you de determine scale, uh, which is a bit strange because uh, you see this and you think oh, okay you drag something out here it's going to be tiny but it's not it's going to be really big. Um, you should, you, your default start is really big um, so yeah just keep, keep that in mind so you can just click on him and click delete and we'll get rid of him for now okay so next what you want to do is you want to click on rectangles uh, sorry shapes up here you've got the different shapes that you can do uh, rectangle is pretty cool so you click on here and we'll build a house so you click here and we drag it out here oh so if you go like that you can make a perfect square I think if you hold no no uh usually with programs like this if you hold like shift or something like that then it just kind of scales it up perfectly as if it was a square uh but n not on this one uh but that's fine that's fine that's fine it doesn't really matter that much uh yeah so you drag that out and you have the square this is the square that you've made but before you go 3d printing this it is only one dimension so this square is just a flat piece of square it's a flat square on the on the deck uh, now what you need to do is you need to click on this one up here which is the push pull tool um, and you can click that and you can put it up like that yeah look at that you click on a face and you can, and you can put it out do it in any direction uh, any face that kind of has these little ball things highlight on it then you can use it on that face uh, so yeah that's how you use that um, over here as well you have this thing here which is pan so you can kind of like just move the screen you can use your middle mouse wheel to like kind of scroll in and out and then hold it down to like rotate around the object or you can press that button up there as well that's the same thing uh, and then zoom tool obviously that's the in and out of the mouse wheel um, and zoom extents push it to full screen I suppose yeah um, yeah so if you oh okay if you move up like this what we'll do now is this is our house it's a very nice house indeed but it is not really very house like is it so what you want to do is click on the pen uh, the lines tool over here sorry I can send the pen um, and then if you kind of like just roll your, your mouse over here it kind of snaps on the middle of it uh, which is actually really cool uh, I've never seen a 3d edit editor program which is this easy to use uh, I mean I've tried a couple of different ones before I've tried like Gmax and, and uh, that's that one's bigger brother I can't remember the name of it now 3ds Max that's the one uh, I've tried animator with an 8 in the name I, I was trying that when it was actually still going around um, if you can believe that that was a, that was a long time ago uh, so yeah you just drag the roof up and then let go and you have a pitched roof how cool is that I mean this program just makes everything look so easy and well I suppose it really is um, <laughs> so yeah you can just come around here you can just middle mouse click rotate uh, it keeps everything in proportion with whatever you're doing so you like what else does a house need a house needs a door let's not be let's not be frank here so we just uh, drag a door down and then obviously I mean that's just flat on the surface you wouldn't even notice that if you print it out like this but you can click on the push pull tool or the extrude tool whatever and you can pull it in and oh my god look 
you kind of notice that there's a door there. And I think I pulled it in a little bit too far, so yeah, let's just put that one. Yeah, there we go. Now it kind of looks like there's a door there. Uh, and this is actually that Steve guy that you saw earlier. Um, if you look in the bottom corner down here, that's how, that's, um, well, that's the size of things. So if you go down here to the, up here, sorry, to the measurement tool, you can drag from the bottom of that door to the top. And you can see that that door is actually, uh, well, as it says, roughly, for some reason, seven foot, which is kind of similar to the normal size of doors. So this house is actually life size, uh, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Maybe in the future we'll be able to print out life size houses. Um, not right now. Or maybe right now, actually. I think they're doing it in China, but I don't, I, no, no. I don't want to live in a house like that shit. Um, so yeah, just drag out another thing here. What else do we need? We need windows, or a window at least. Uh, we'll just draw inside that as well. And then look at that. We have a window, but obviously still it is not perfect. So we just pull that out a little bit like that. And look, we've got a window frame. It's like a, it's a it's actually looks more like a shop now, I suppose. Um, a convenience store, well, not a convenience store, like a little uh, small town shop. Uh, and they can kind of write a sign up here and, you know, it'll look really cool. Um, and everyone will come to your shop. And then you can like build loads of these and then have like shops that you can sell quite literally because, you know, it's a, it's, it's a shop and people are buy that kind of stuff. People love that kind of stuff. Um, what else do you need for a house <laughs> where you can make a chimney? Drag it out here and then, uh, you know, extrude it up. And I mean, you, you kind of get the, you kind of get the gist with that kind of stuff now. Another thing that you can do is say you wanted this chimney to be a certain height, you can click on this tool, click on this, and then you can say, hey, I want this to be, I don't know, 10 meters, 10 M, comma, space, 10 M, enter, invalid length entered. Oh, that's my bad. I did that wrong. I did, I did that wrong. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll move over here somewhere. I'll just show you this one quickly. Um, yeah, so you can just drag a little box out on the floor. This is another way of doing it. And you want the box to be a certain height or a certain uh, measurement, you can just say, I want this box to be one meter, comma, space, one meter. And you notice down here where it says dimensions that I didn't I didn't mention that last time actually. Uh, that is where you're typing this into. Press enter and I don't know, maybe that's a meter already. No? Oh well, that's just not working. Hey, it worked a minute ago guys. I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem to want to work now. One meter, comma, space, one meter. It needs to have the space and it needs to have the comma. Ah, there you go. Perfect. Now we have a small box there, which is one meter by one meter, uh, which looks tiny on this on this scale. And then you can just drag this box around. Just right over here. That uh, could be a doormat on the on the nice house that we have. Oh, I just grabbed the side of that map. Yeah, so we just move that over here, and then hand tool back over here, and oh, oh, we'll move this out. And oh my god, it's stuck to the house. It has stuck itself to the house. That is kind of freaky. Okay, we'll move that back. Move that back. We don't do it that way. We don't do it this way. So we'll do that like that. And then I suppose like if you wanted to, you can just like extrude this up a little bit. To give it a tiny bit of depth. And then like, uh, well, you can just put it back a little bit like that. And then you've got yourself a doorstep. And how cool is that? That is awesome, right? Um, I mean, obviously there's no color in the house but that wouldn't be put on before you printed it anyway, because you can't print in like multiple different colors. Well, you probably can actually, but not just, not, not like, not on, a, on, not on this printer. <laughs> it's just one color. Uh, and I, I think you can print it in a material which is good for painting onto. So you can actually print these out, paint them, and then, you know, eBay or some kind of stuff like that, someone will buy it. Um, 
people buy everything nowadays. Um, but yeah, see, uh, this is cool. Um, this, uh, well, this, it's been fun so far. So yeah, that's about it for this episode. Um, I'm going to do some more of these in the future. So if you feel like subscribing or liking this video, then that'd be great. Um, share the love if you can, and don't forget to come back for the next one. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, that's at Nathan42, and thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.